We're here with Coach Wilcox on the Monday uh, preceding the Oregon game on Friday up in Eugene. If you have questions for Coach, go ahead and let me know in the chat. I'll call upon you and we'll get started. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with Jeff Prado. Go ahead, Jeff. Good afternoon, uh, Justin. Um, I'm wondering, you know, when you're going through a rough patch like this, how much does it help that you beat Oregon the last time you played them at, at your place? Is that something that you guys can – draw from as you uh, head up to Eugene on Friday? Really what we're focused on is, you know, the individual improvements needed at each for each player, coach, player, and position group for us to play better. Um, you know, last year was last year. And, uh, you know, we're focused on playing better as a team. That's what we need to do. So uh, I don't feel like the guys, you know, are lacking confidence. We just haven't finished games. And uh, so our job is to show show the players you know, how we can do that better, how they can do it individually better, and we can do it better as a team to come out on top. So that's what we're focused on. And how much of that did you see uh, in practice this past week or so? It's good. I mean, again, I sound like a broken record here, but the guys practice well. I mean, we had a different rhythm to practice last week uh, due to the bye week. Some guys, uh, we needed to spend some time getting healthy. Other players, it was about development. And then for everybody, there was the initial game plan for Oregon. And if I can ask you a follow-up on, on, on the injury front, um, how are certain guys, Nico, Will Craig, DeCarlos Brooks, um, I'm probably forgetting some, but can you give us an update on where that stands? Yeah, expect Will and Nico back. Um, DeCarlos would be week to week. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, other than that, I think it's – do you have any others that you're – Nothing new on, on coin? Nothing new on coin yet. It's uh, the extended period. All right, thanks. Okay. Um, we'll go to Trace Travers. Go ahead, Trace. I can't hear you, Trace. Hey, thank you. Go ahead and try it. All right. And if you, if you have an issue, you can go ahead and chat. Send, the, send your question quickly to me in the chat. We'll go back to Jeff Ferrato for now, and then I'll ask the question for you. Go ahead, Jeff. Justin, uh, Oregon has, uh, I think, forced 15 takeaways in five games. Uh, what do you see when you watch their defense uh, that's allowing them to do that? And, and how where will your offensive guys be of that? Yeah, uh, they've done a great job creating turnovers. Uh, they got, and they've also protected the ball really well, uh, offensively. And so I think the turnover margin is probably one of the, one of the better turnover margins in the country. And, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know if there's any one thing, I think they've got their hands on the ball, uh, some tips and overthrows guys have made nice plays on, uh, you know, causing some fumbles. So there's, again, when those things happen, it's usually a combination of, of factors. And they lost uh, C.J. Burdell for the season, their running back, but they've got Die back and they've got some other guys. What's your impression of their of, of their cap their talents at that position and their capabilities there? Yeah, they're a very talented group, uh, really each and every position group. So, uh, you know, uh, Die, who's played a lot of football for them, um, they got some other young backs that are very, very talented. So it's a, it's a good group. Okay, Jeff, are you good? I'm good for now. Yeah, thanks. I'll let you move on. Okay. okay. We'll go to David Bush. Go ahead, David. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, just curious, uh, what uh, what do you see in Oregon's passing? They they, uh, they like to run the ball a lot, but uh, how do they do with throwing it? Uh, they throw it pretty well. Uh, they've ran it so well that probably at times they didn't need to throw it. Uh, the quarterback is a threat to run, and – no, we can pass. There's uh, some very, you know, the receivers, number three, Johnson, uh, Pittman, uh, 14. They got some talented skill at the receiver position and they can get it down the field. And, you know, they'll, they'll use the RPO game. They got uh, quick and intermediate passes and then they have some things where they'll launch it. So uh, they do a good job there. Tight ends are, are also talented guys. Okay. 
Okay, so we have from Trace. Did you have your question in there yet? Okay. It's like Trace, it's like Trace is still typing. We'll go back to Jeff Parada. Yeah, I wondered, Justin, did you guys do anything different um, with the bye week uh, just to shake things up um, or, or just to kind of, um, just, you know, try some something different at all? Um, well, every bye week's a, a little unique, kind of depending on where it falls in the season and what the health of your team is like. So, as I mentioned, some of the bye week was – taking reps off of guys like, you know, Cameron Good and, and Elijah and, uh, you know, Trey Clark and some of these guys that have a lot of reps under their belt and getting them healthy. And then also utilizing some of those reps to get some development going with, with guys who have played in the season but haven't played as, as many reps. And then for everyone, we started in on Oregon. Um, but in terms of flipping everything upside down and um, – you know, changing offense, defense, special teams, we did not do that. No, we are uh, we just need to improve on what we do, and we got to do that a little bit better uh, than we have in the past to get better results. Do you have any more clarity at the inside line, linebacker position in terms of your depth chart? I saw your depth chart, but is uh, is Trey Pastor going to start, and, and where are you at with, with that position? Yeah, if we were going today, yes, and we'll, we will see. I mean, it's uh, we, we tried some new guys in there uh, this – past game with Trey Pastor, Nate Richena, both had some good moments. Nate had a huge interception that you saw. Um, you know, Femi Aladejo is going to continue to get reps as well. Uh, so we're going to continue to, to make that room competitive. And there's some, uh, some younger players gaining valuable experience and we think they have bright futures and, uh, but it's a, yeah, they're, they're a work in progress. Like we all are. What does Tattersall need to show you to, uh, Get back on the field more. Well, he's just, again, consistency with uh, performance. That's what we're looking for from every position. And so uh, Evan's done some good things uh, during the season. And we're always going to, you know, base the playing time off of, you know, practice and then production in games. And so uh, Evan is still, uh, he got dinged up a little bit uh, and is now kind of working through it. And uh, he's available. And now it's just a matter of, you know, production and, and practice and games. And if I could ask you one more thing. In a bye week, typically that's a week where coaches might go out on the road and do some extra recruiting. What did that look like for you guys a week ago? And how many of your, your staff guys went out there? Uh, we sent a number of guys on the road late in the week to watch and evaluate uh, some games. And, uh, and obviously high school games and JC games throughout the country. So uh, late in the week, uh, Thursday night, Friday and, and Saturday, a uh, number of coaches were out. We, we saw quite a few games. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Trace's question, which I'll read from Trace. Uh, he said, with the last week having developmental practices, are there any players that have stood out on that front? Uh, been a number of them. Uh, Trace and a lot of them, probably the ones that you would think, some of the young D linemen, the young inside linebackers benefited greatly from that. Uh, a couple of those younger safeties, you know, Miles Williams is still doing some really good things. I think he's going to continue to get better, uh, you know, and offensively uh, young. I mean, really all of them benefited. I, I don't know if it benefited one more than the other, uh, but we'll see once we get into playing games again. Okay. Yeah. If everybody could mute themselves, but also I think we're nearing the end. Is there any, Final questions from everybody, anybody? Give you another couple seconds. Uh, looks like Jeff Ferrado has one more. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Justin, is the um, going up to Oregon sort of an old, old team? It's, I mean, you've done that a few times now. Is it, it's just another game in that regard? Yeah, um, it's a, you know, it's a great environment, a, vault, a hostile environment to play in. And I know our guys are going to be excited for that. Um, they got a hell of a team, and, and we're looking forward to competing Friday night. In, term, in terms of your connections there, that's not a, an issue right now, I take it? Yeah, it's never been an issue. You know, I, I went to school there, and I'm appreciative of my time and the people that impacted me uh, being there, but it has nothing to do with that. This is about our football team going to play their football team. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, guys. So last last time, anybody with anything else? Okay. Thank